time is gonna you have to have a goal. You gotta assess the environment. You gotta create a mental model, then you gotta execute and evaluate. Okay, that's how you process the information. So let's say we're like we'll use uh, George and Richard. We're working on hitting the draw. And let's say we're gonna go out and they gotta play a little money match. What is the brain gonna want to do? Try the new program, or try the one that's been in there for for a long time? The old one. <laughs> old one. It's gonna revert right back. What? Does this environment replicate what happens on the golf course? No. So we have to create a mental model, a different mental model, to over exaggerate the shot that you want to hit. So. In George's case, and let's say we got a pretty open fairway. So we're not worrying about there's not trouble right or left. So his mental model has to be created in such a way for him to be aware of real specifically what that feels like. Now a mental model isn't, okay, I gotta do this and then do this and then do this and then do this, not to hit positions. It is a feeling of what we want the club to do what are we doing with this club and the club face to create the shot? You have to know what you're doing before you hit it. Okay, so we're gonna say right now we're on a tee shot, even though I got an iron. We're gonna hit it right to left. Really, there's no trouble. Which way is the wind blowing? We don't have to worry about lies or anything else like that. So once I go through my routine, I know what I wanna do. I've assessed the situation. I gotta have my mental model. Is that a draw swing? Yes, I feel it here and I feel it there. I know what I want to do, I feel it. Okay, so then I just go ahead and go. It is, it's just not, just do it. Just do it! I hit the draw. I can evaluate that, because I, well, I didn't hit that real solid. My sequence was a little bit off. I felt the shift drift a little bit and then try to catch up. Okay, I can learn from that, but it's still playable. Golf, you want to base your golf scores off an average, not the best shots. If you think of it as something normally distributed, we live in good, we live in okay. We're going to have some bad shots, we're going to have some great shots. We want to work to make our average better. By working, that's why you're here, to make your average better. Okay? Now, if your expectation is, well, I'm going to hit every shot perfect, I got it on the range, I'm going to hit every shot perfect. And all of a sudden I hit that shot, oh man. That emotional energy that just is draining out of you is a result of your expectation and what the outcome was. That gap is your emotions. That's how you process that. The problem with that is that shot I hit was executed perfectly if I wanted to hit the ball a little bit thin. So you can't you don't want to, I shouldn't say you can't because it's harder to do. You don't want to give away all that energy. And that's brain energy, that's body energy, okay? That's carbohydrates, whatever, however you want to relate to it, okay? Because we only have so much for the day. So don't beat yourself up if it's not perfect. Evaluate and make notes if you have to. At the end of the round, what was, what, what was my problem? I couldn't hit draws with my driver. Well, guess what I need to practice? and draws with my driver, okay? So that, that game acronym is just a way to kind of keep you processing and don't evaluate and create these expected values. So, and I'm not gonna get into the morals of right or wrong, but in golf, there is no right or wrong. There's only what you do. If I go ahead and hit a shot, I'm trying to hit a draw, and I, I'm planning on a draw, I got, got water left or something like that, and I want to work away, from, I want to play away from the water, and all of a sudden I get up there, and I just pull it dead in the water. Is that a bad shot? Yes. Yeah. No! It's not the expected shot. It wasn't the expected shot, and I'd get mad because it wasn't the expected shot. That's wasting energy. Does the ball lie to us? No. 
So did the ball do exactly what I told it to do? Yes. Yes. So how can you be mad over doing something perfect to make the ball go left? It's not what you were trying to do. You just get mad at that disconnect. Yeah. You're trying to make it go right, it went dead left. But you sw yeah. there's no way I can swing to the right and have the ball get pulled left. So if I think I'm swinging to the right, but I am keep swinging this way, you know, doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, what is that called? Insanity. <laughs> you wonder why people get mad and frustrated on the golf course. The ball doesn't lie. So what does that mean? Maybe you don't have those skills to do that. Maybe you're not ready for the, the draw yet. Then you can go ahead and play the shot. I like what Spencer did. He was working on, I think, correct me on, on some of the stories, but he learned, you know, played maybe up to a five line and then started working on working the clubs up. I think that's a good way of doing it. I'd make sure you play shorter tees. Um, you know, I'd always recommend playing shorter tees and you're comfortable. You have to get comfortable with making birdie on every hole. I, I, I plan to. I don't get mad if I don't because why? The percentage is out. Every putt's makeable, but I don't get mad if I don't make it because nothing's 100%. People on the tour have missed a one foot putt. Never 100%. The problem with what we watch on TV is what? We watch the top players, five or six players, playing their best that week. What happened to the other 138? Half of them didn't even make the cut. Why? Because they're expecting to hit the ball that way and <laughs> hit it that way. So they get mad. So use your really plan things out. And by planning things out, guess what we're focused on? What we're doing. And by focusing on what we're doing, not thinking, but just being aware, guess what? I'm in the zone. I'm in the flow. There is no positive. There is no negative. There's only what I do. If you don't like what you're doing, then obviously you have some practice to do. So, okay. Tony, would you recommend for a lot of us who are, you know, getting these new dramatic changes in their game to not really go, you know, like maybe just go for the green and be happy with hitting the greens, like rather than going out trying to hit the pin every single time, like just be like, look, I want to hit a draw and it, you know, it's 30 yards or 30 feet or 30 yards short of the, of the stick. It's like on a long green, it's on the opposite side, but they shouldn't be upset by that because it did the draw and it's on the green and they can work like that. Exactly. So just make it simplistic. Yeah. I mean, what is your goal? Did you meet your goal or not? Are you setting the goal? Are you expecting your goal to be performed at a tour level, you know, beyond your handicap. Pins tucked left, water left, I need to get it within five feet. If this isn't right, if your mindset isn't right, then it's not going to work. So your mindset has to believe that there is no good or bad shots. Your mindset has to believe that you can do it. And then you have to have th this program on how to do it. So Tony, when you're standing over the ball, should the result of where you want the ball to, to land be what's in your mind? Should the, should like kind of a pro tracer image of the shape be in your, your mind? Like what should we be thinking once we've already made our decision and we're over the ball? It depends on what level you're at. I would say right now for, for some of the, the guys here, they're more they're better off focusing on the club and maybe something external. So what we call external proximal, it's closer to me. Let's create the path, let's create that motion, okay? Even with Spencer, his ability, if he just goes out and tries to, to make a motion, he's gonna revert back to the old, ha old habit of dropping down, so have feeling more of this. Once you get that skill, then I think you can start shifting on that thing. You know you can start shifting into external distal, which that's then the pro tracer ball flight. Det, det har vi redan också fått bekräftat, men det är klart det är oundvikligt. Oh, vad tror han gillar här?
Henrik Stensson från 158 yards.